Hey, I'm Julian Adams and I love helping people hear God's voice for themselves. After numbers of years of ministering prophetically all over the world, I've discovered four spiritual practices in my time with God that help people discover and practice hearing God's voice. Number one, one of the things I love doing when I wake up in the morning is to simply invite God into my day. What does he want to do for the day with me? And often in those moments, I allow my mind to be impacted by the spontaneous thoughts of heaven around that particular day. Maybe God will remind me of an appointment I might have in my calendar to meet with someone. And there might be something that might stand out about that particular person. And then I'll ask God, hey God, what about this person do you want me to communicate your heart to? And in those moments, I just listen very gently and allow those thoughts to swirl in my head, write them down. So when I meet with that particular person, which has been highlighted to me, I can then prophesy them or speak to them. Another dynamic, which is loads of fun, is when I know I've got a particular meeting that's going to require some wisdom from God, I'm asking him, God, are there any moments that I need to lean into you? I'm asking him to speak some wisdom him into those meetings and I'm looking for cues that he might highlight to me in the meeting that I know I can then lean in with the words of heaven. Doing this, inviting God into your every day and in every way really helps you engage his voice consistently because hearing from God is the privilege of every child of God. The second thing I often do, and this really is one of my fun things, I believe that the basic form of prophecy is always encouragement. And encouragement anyone can do. So I will ask God for a particular word or a particular picture for a friend that he might be highlighting. Now, just to help you understand what happens when God highlights people, sometimes during the day, a thought or a particular image of a person that I know well, a friend, someone who's close, a family member, might pop into my head. I take those seriously and when that happens, I will write it down and I will spend some time praying for them. Make this a part of your natural process and your natural rhythm so that when people pop into your head and you pray for them, God might give you words to them and the result is they might be encouraged. Now, I can't tell you how many times this has happened. My friend pops into my head, I write down their name, I pray for them and then I phone them at the end of the day and say, hey, at about one o'clock, your name popped into my head, I began to pray for you specifically around your job and I feel like there's something maybe that's happening and God just wanted to encourage you. Nine times out of ten, someone goes on the other side of the line, my friend goes, oh my gosh, I literally had a very awkward meeting, it's been so difficult and I needed strength and I didn't know where God was in that moment. So you telling me that at exactly one o'clock is giving me a sense of purpose that God is with me. What you can also do is write out prophetic words for your friends, give it to them and check in with them. Maybe a week or two weeks later to see if those things came to pass. It's in this context that you grow your muscle in hearing God's voice. The third thing that I love to do is to set a reminder on my phone, maybe three or four times a day, and when that reminder goes off, I'm asking the Lord at that moment, is there anyone you want me to encourage? Is there anything you're saying about today that you want to highlight to me right now in this moment? Moment. And if there's nothing, I just get an opportunity to tell Jesus how much I love him anyway. When you get some of those thoughts or some of those words, text the person maybe that it's connected to, or even better still, if it's connected to you, lean into that moment. It just takes two minutes to do this and saying, God, I receive these words to give me confidence for the rest of the day. Hearing from God should be a natural communication, but these things will help us connect with him, train our ability to be sensitive to his voice and step out of them. And then number four, the last one, what you want to do is maybe on a Sunday night or a Monday morning, whenever you spend time with the Lord, maybe take some time to ask God about the trajectory of the week. It's in those moments that God might give you some specifics and some instructions. Guys, really, these practices are supposed to shape your heart and your discipline or your will to instinctively 
and carefully and intentionally hear God's voice. When you get these practices, they'll help you. Now, I found particularly when I do things for a week ahead, there'll be some highlights that it's impossible for me to have known that that thing would happen because I cannot control my week. So that when they happen, I've got a confidence. A, God's already spoken to me about this moment. B, I've got a part to play in this moment to step in by faith and to trust him for his will to be established. Friends, when you live practicing the presence of God and practicing hearing God's voice in a practical way, you will begin to step out into more purposes that he has for your life. I often tell people, if it's spiritual, it's got to be practical. And if it's not practical, it's probably not spiritual. You want to set these things as rhythms and as practices so that hearing God's voice increasingly becomes natural, accessible, and easy for you. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this video has helped you and encouraged you in setting in some practices to hear the voice of God. If you want to go a little bit deeper in discovering what it looks like for you to hear God's voice for yourself and the unique way that he speaks to you, I've got a free prophetic quiz that will unlock the prophetic personality you have that uniquely sets you up to hear God's voice. Also, if you want to go deep in how to live a prophetic lifestyle, my course, Vox Day, which means Voice of God, is really a prophetic lifestyle course where I take my 25 plus years of prophetic ministry and distill it down into 12 accessible teachings that you get to engage with that will take the prophetic in your life to a different level so that rather than being a once-off event, it becomes the lifestyle you live in. Check out the links for both my free prophetic personality quiz as well as Fox Day in the description below. Thank you so much.